What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinter Lens content every single day. We also stream right here in this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. This video is also brought to you by two different things. Since we don't do any sponsorships here on the channel, I'll go ahead and show them out real quick. The first is my music, which is available anywhere you stream music, and the second is a new podcast I just launched called Chasing Infinity. It is myself and ChatGPT as my AI co-host, and we cover a wide range of topics in short form videos just like this. So check it out. Links in the description below, and I appreciate the support. All right, guys, let's get into a topic here about Gladiator cards, because I'm going to give you reason number X. I don't know how many we have already for why I'm leaning towards A, no mini set, and B, the, uh, you know, kind of like the, in like, earlier time frame for the rotating of Chaos Legion out of modern format. So, you know, recently we came into a situation, shout out to Bjangles and People's Guild for putting this together, where you are now able to sell your Rebellion reward cards, which means that every card currently in the game, right? Uh, let me, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, like every card that's currently available in the game is something that anybody can go in and grab, right? If you're willing to pay, and there is a premium right now, right? On both the old reward cards as well as the new reward cards, if you're willing to pay, you can actually have every card that you want. And if you're a new player coming in or a whale coming in that wants to get these cards, you're not paying the team, you're paying the uh, you're, you're paying another player who went and earned these cards with their hard work, you know, hard, hard work and effort and wins, right? Um, and they, in turn, also went and, uh, you know, helped the community overall by, um, or the game economy, I should say, by burning SPS. So there we go. That's what was wrong with, with it. So you can see here, you know, you can get any and all of these reward cards. They are trading at a premium, but they are available, which means that the only cards that are not available, if you wanted to come in and be competitive day one, are gladiator cards. And with the reward cards, right, the, the Soulbound reward cards for uh, Chaos Legion offering you a chance to access those Gladiator cards through the summoners, right? So where are they here in case you're not familiar? Like you can go in and grab these, um, but if you're a new player, you don't have any Gladiator cards. So these would not do you any good, right? And the issue for me is that Gladiator cards are the most dominant at the lower levels, right? Especially at the lower levels because of bloodlust. As you get higher and higher up, the, the the game meta opens up more significantly. You have different abilities, different things that can counter certain elements, right? Uh, but in the early stages, if you don't have those gladiator cards, you can easily get dominated by them. Now, the idea here is that, uh, or at least the idea with what Matt was trying to create should technically mitigate this, and maybe I'm making a, you know a, a mountain out of a molehill when it comes to this problem. But um, you know the the way that Matt had designed it is that well, if you had these gladiator cards and you're winning anyway, then you're probably going to jump up into silver or gold, and you're not going to have to face anybody you know uh, that is actually new to the game and doesn't have access to these cards. But that still places a kind of like ceiling, right? A potential. Uh, um, ceiling for new players coming in that is gated by time. And, you know, I, I struggle with this because I do like the proof of time, proof of skill, proof of, you know, uh, ownership, whatever concept that Aggie had pushed a while ago, that if you're here and you're a player, then you get certain benefits because you've been around earning these cards, right? In fact, that's that's kind of why I had originally been against unlocking of these soulbound reward cards. But now that we've done it, I think the other half of this problem is, well, you either unlock the gladiators, which I don't think is going to happen and I don't think should happen, or we should really move that rotation into wild format where only experienced players play, right? New players coming in are not going to jump straight into wild format. There's so many gates for them, right? They would need to pay an additional 2000 DEC that when they first log into the game, it pushes them into modern format, right? So um, all in all, it, it just seems to me like it would create a better new player experience for these players uh, when they're coming in to not have to be like, okay... I just got beaten by this card. I just got beaten by Quora. But when I go to the when I go to the store, I want to buy this card right now, right? Because I, I keep getting beaten by it. I can't find it. Oh wait, I can't I can't buy it, right? This sucks. It's a gladiator card. Oh, I have to play and earn these different packs and merits. Like, oh, that kind of sucks because now I'm stuck at silver. I'm stuck at gold. I can't really rise up the ranks. So to me, 
in, in order for us to really turn a page, <clears throat> that's going to be the final thing, right? We need to get Chaos Legion out of modern format simply for these cards, right? Now, the, the other way that you could do it is just to like ban gladiators in a sense, right? Just to say that like, yeah, we can't use these cards anymore. But I, I think people would be really upset about that. So the, the way to do it where you're not specifically targeting cards or making it difficult is just to say, hey, if we have two options, which is you know, to, to move up the timeline for the next core set, uh, or, you know, keep it in the second half of next year. I, I really think, you know, this reason, this video combined with many other of the, the videos that I made talking about this w are, present, present a, a valid argument as to why we should do it sooner rather than later. And think about it this way, right? Let's let's talk about the bull run again in all of its glory and if it does mirror or rhyme similarly to 2017 and 2021, if 2025 ends up being uh, similar in that way. Well, towards the end of the year next year would be similar to like the end of 2021 when we got Chaos Legion and you got this, you know, rush of new players that wanted to come in and they were waiting for the new set because they couldn't, you know, they they, they couldn't buy at the time, right? Um, which we're going to get into a scenario soon where, you know, for most of next year, people will not be able to buy. Well, actually, people won't be able to buy Rebellion at, at the end of this year. But I, I would rather not be in a situation where people are just kind of sitting on the outside looking in. And because there's so many other options for games, they're just like, you know what? I don't want to have to deal with this gladiator stuff. Like, I don't want to have to like wait another six months, right? For um, for 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 me to either you know level up my gladiators uh, and play at a disadvantage, or wait until like the next set comes out and rotates everything. I'm just gonna sit this one out, or I'm just gonna go and find another game, right? That could be us, where it's like you know October of 2025. And similarly to you know October of 2021, Chaos Legion comes out right before the market turns, and all of a sudden people are just losing interest. Market you know markets change, uh, things start to dip, and you know we we start to enter that that prolonged bear market that I think we're all going to be expecting at some point at that at that time. So instead, let's do this earlier. Let's do it in the midpoint of 2025 when there's still three to six months left of bull run, right? When people are still flush with cash because Bitcoin's going up and Solana's going up and all these other things are potentially, you know, popping off, that they can take those profits, come back into Splinterlands, buy the packs, right? Play and become part of the community, become part of the ecosystem so that when we do have that downturn, like many folks who stayed after Chaos Legion, you get people who are bought into the idea. And they understand, hey, this game has survived two bear markets now. You have ha you have a bunch of people here who are you know vouching for it that that survived, that saw it pop off, that saw its success, and it seems to continue growing. So I get it now, right? But you want to do that in July. You don't want to do that in December or January of 2026 when maybe they have to raise interest rates again, or maybe there's a, a massive market downturn. So uh, th again, I I'm I'm presenting a bunch of different ideas here. And a bunch of different arguments, but the core, you know, the core once again for this video specifically was the the gladiator cards. You just don't want to like if we're not going to gate uh, if we're if we're not going to gate one area, which is the soul bond card, we really shouldn't be gating the other area. Then, right? If you want to have it so that people can come in, and again, it's not about new players uh, and 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 like high spenders or low spenders. It's literally just about if people want to come in and play the game at the highest levels and have the capital to do so. Like then, then give them the opportunity. Like if we've removed one gate, we should remove the other one. And to me, that other one is gladiators, and gladiators are especially difficult to deal with in the lower levels. And you know what? Honestly, like I, I think. Uh, let me see here. I might have even played a game recently that I right here. The third game, <laughs> the third most recent game. I won with a gladiator over over Immortalis. Right. So again, it, it just goes to show. Uh, oh, look at this. Two games in a row that I won with gladiators. Right. So it just goes to show that this is still powerful even in diamond, right? Or gold or diamond, whatever I'm playing in now. So my, my point is we want, we want to remove as many gates as possible. If we've removed one, we should remove the other. And this is yet another argument for me that we should not have the mini set if it means we're going to delay the rotation of Chaos Legion out of modern format. So that's all I have. Sorry, I ended up being a little bit more long-winded than I wanted. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That is all I have for you guys in this video. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.